Salve rapaziada aí, tudo bem com vocês aí? Estamos aqui na área, é nóis. Esse videozinho aqui para atualizar como é que tá as coisas aí. É... Vamos no evento, dia 7. Foi legal, mas o carro não estava no nível da competição. É, tentei andar lá, andei. Foi legal, foi divertido, mas infelizmente nem na, na, na passada de qualificação o carro não, não, não foi legal, eu também não fui legal, falta um pouco mais de prática. E aí acabei decidindo que o carro precisa de um pouco de potência então estamos aqui hoje tá aqui preparando para para aumentar a potência o que, que a gente vai fazer o carro não vai ser de rua mais vamos mudar tudo o que, que vai entrar aqui vamos desmontar tudo vai entrar a turbininha Injeção, vamos tirar a injeção, colocar uma injeção programável. E essa aqui agora é a nossa nova área de trabalho. Fechei uma parceria com, com o Reinaldo aqui. E esse cantinho aqui vai ser a minha, minha área de trabalho. Vou trabalhar nesse canto aqui. É, vou usar essas ferramentas aqui. Essa bancadinha. Esse elevador. Então é isso aí. Vamos começar o projeto da BM de Drift, só que agora vai ser mais, um pouquinho mais sério. Chega de brincadeira, vamos, vamos para cima. Atenção aqui, é pistão biela original, turbininha é uma T04, estava no Honda, turbininha para 400 cavalos, vai vir de injeção programável, então rodando aí com quilinho para começar, o carrinho vai vir aí com uns 300 cavalos de roda, eu acho. Estimada aí mais ou menos. Alívio de peso. Vamos aliviar todo o carro, deixar o carro tudo aliviado. E é isso aí. Bora trabalhar, né? Começar a desmontar porque... É isso aí. É isso aí, pessoal. Agora é pra valer, hein? Vamos lá ver a pontuação que a gente vai fazer. Vai se encaixar no, no top 32. Vamos ver, vamos ver posição que a gente vai pegar aí, tamo junto galera, vamos que vamos pra cima, tem pressão hoje, aí ó, o HQ patrocinando o um evento, o evento hoje tá maravilhoso, mano. só, ó, corretão, bora pra cima hein, Kato, Nick Rod, 
But Lewis is uh, very worried about the end. <laughs> and <laughs> so basically, two uh, upper control arms that made fun. Last time we jumped, we jumped together. Oh, he broke. <laughs> Man. <laughs> It's so funny when we're talking about, uh, it's, it's a different feeling when you get punted in real life and when I are on a sim. And it wasn't a competition, it was for fun driving. <laughs> oh man. Ouch. Yeah. That is funny. We're waiting for these drivers to line up. Here we go. We got someone warming up the tires, getting ready. So when you're warming up the tires, you try to get that front wheel. Uh, Lewis, when you're doing your scrubbing, what do you what do you really are trying to feel? So basically, uh, the front is the most important thing that I feel that that I need to basically uh -huh. eat up and like just scrub them up real good because that's that's where the feel of the car is. Once I feel the fronts are decent enough, you try to do the best that you can, and once that's, I feel like they're good enough, um, I just do a quick uh, drive to, to spin the rear tires just so I can catch the car and have a feel for it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, it's so cool to see that, that um, like I was saying earlier, the evolution of drifting and how it came from 2009 to now. Um, most of these guys are now running the house of horsepower. We got some guys running the 200 and 300 horsepower shredding the track with this season. So he's coming back up again. Drifting came from like the guys that are drifting like when I was watching, it was like 500, 600 horsepower. So now it's pushing like close to 1100 at times, so and depending on where 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 you're looking at, what do you what do you see? They're all liars, yeah. They're all liars. Um, 1030. Wow, that's insane to see. Uh, but just seeing the different layouts of the tracks. We were talking about road. I was talking about road Atlanta the other day. The layout changed from instead of answering the beginning of the cable, now they're reaching all the way to the top of it. It's insane to see. Um, oh wow! Wow, that's insane. But um, looking at that evolution, uh, being a crew chief, uh, Chris, what what is one thing uh, uh, that you've noticed? Wow, being a crew chief for Jeff uh, Jones. So I noticed a lot of the, the car 
setup and everything that we do, like every little thing we can do, we do it. So like any little car changes, we're doing alignments basically every two laps. You know, we're always making adjustments, always down with the car race, and always just getting it there. And then once we qualify, we do it all over again, and we make it faster. So and there's always gear changes, there's always something going on, and it's not like we never just hey, you know, like, you can wait. No, like we always don't have the best car, you know, at all times. And you know, it takes a lot, you know, a lot of crew guys, a lot of. Uh, you know, just like Christina, That's how you do it. Sounded like a AK coming out here. Uh, back to what you're saying, Chris. You, you're saying there was a lot of alignment changes, a lot of different little tweaks and in, in turns of the wrench. What, what else are you noticing? I mean, so now, like with, uh, with like Utah going in and like things constantly changing, the track changing. Like sometimes we don't have like momentum maps to go off of anymore. Um, the judging style this year is completely different. So the way like you go ahead. All right, next guy coming in here. Sonic the Hedgehog! This is the first episode! Transition, second episode! We're the best shot of the game! The trail! He is continuing the trail! Which is final on his own! And you're seeing the change of momentum tracks and, and so on and so forth. I know the Utah changed from a different layout pretty much last minute and they were going to do that same thing with OSW but it went back to the old layout so or you're back to the momentum map yeah so momentum maps like kind of changed a little bit or not existent and they're just kind of giving you a you know a kind of guideline what to go off of but it's not actually written in stone um the scoring though like the, having the 90 points and they get to take it away now we have this as Jessica Finn nice into that person points and then um, you basically have 40 percent for your uh, your line and judge and then 30 for your angle and 30 for your uh, style and then you are awarded a 10 points x factor so the judging is way different than it used to be and then adding the driver's to it there's somebody that can overturn kind of the judges so it's a little bit different and this The transition going from outer zone one to two has been a struggle for these drivers. <laughs> Next, we're going to have Julian Carmona come out. And talking about judging is, is very important because this is a judge sport. And so, sometimes there's there's protesting in actual events. But uh, this event is more of a fun job. We're having a good time. Julian Carmona. So <laughs> <laughs> Julian at, at the last round was uh <laughs> Yeah, he made it in fourth place at OSW. Here we go! Thanks, 
The, the bank is a different beast than a skid pad because you have to have more speed and momentum going into that bank to stay tucked in. But the skid pad is one of the rather combination trying to get all the way through. guys to hang out, check out the cars that are getting ready, we're going to fill out the bracket, and get you guys situated. I want to thank, yet again, the sponsors for the event, Drift HQ, Apex Auto Repair, and Orlando Car Center. We have a Z3 coming out. So I was talking earlier on the in the day that across the street there used to be a track where where people would drift. C3 drift rod coming in there, getting nice and spicy. There you go, Spoiler that's bigger than his car. <laughs> Spoiler is huge. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, that was all of qualifying. We're gonna get the bracket built out. We're gonna be back to get everything situated, and then we're gonna see some tandem battle. We'll talk a little bit about that as we go on with the night. Thank you guys for hanging out here. The people that are on that wall, I give you mad respect because it's a lot hotter up there than down here. My man is out there with a nice sun hat. At 2.35, there will be a driver's meeting yet again, and uh, we're going to be having uh, the bracket situated, so we'll be back at 2.35.